All right, folks, welcome back. On the last video, we went, did a deep dive on the Solo MPA, which is the microphone preamplifier up here. In this video, we're gonna transition down to the matching Solo VLA, which is multi-voice tube and opto compressor, this bottom unit down here. All right, so of course, turn it on. I'm gonna kind of work my way left to right on this one too. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to daisy chain the preamp into the compressor, then from the compressor into your interface so you can really start having some fun. These, the, both of these units marry so well together. All right, so working my way left to right, first one's up is the threshold. So the threshold is basically just, at what setting do you want this compressor to start doing, to start to engage? Um, and you work your way over to your ratio, how, once this engages, how much do you want it to engage? I'm gonna start off here with a three to one and uh, kind of work away left to right here. So I said this in the last video, but I can't reinforce this enough. Always trust your ears with this outboard gear. Always trust your, your ears no matter what you're doing. But especially for outboard gear, trust your ears. The, the knobs are fun, they're tactile. You can really dial in just a plethora of settings here, but trust your ears. But let's start on a three to one. The attack is, okay, once the signal passes the threshold, this is how much it's going to compress once it crosses the threshold, but the attack is once it crosses the threshold, how fast is this compressor going to engage? And then your release is the exact opposite. Once it crosses the threshold, it's gonna compress it on this ratio. It's gonna grab that audio signal once it crosses the threshold. This is how quickly it's gonna do it. And then how quick is it gonna release it when it goes back below that threshold. And uh, and this is one of my favorite knobs on this outboard gear, this is the blend knob. So this is like parallel compression in your doll. So what's great about this is you can overly compress stuff, you can have a heavier compression setting here and then back it off to taste to let some of that dry signal through. So a very powerful setting here on this unit. Um, now you got your voicings, you got your opto or you got your FET. Everybody, you know, the, the 2A is that classic opto compressor, great for vocals, real buttery sound, just soften the edges. Um, I love the opto setting, but don't sleep on the FET, it's got its place. A great bypass button here. Um, what's great about this, especially when you're, when you're running outboard gear, is to always check almost check your zero, if you will. So you can dial in settings here, you can sometimes get lost down the rabbit hole, and a great way to do it, like, look, am I actually making this better? And hit that, completely bypass the compressor, oh, oh, un unbypass it, ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So we're, we're, I, I love what it's doing. And then this controls what you're seeing on your, v on your VU meter. Do you want gain reduction or do you want output? So when it's in, it's gain reduction. When it's out, it's output. So gain reduction here is what you're gonna see with how much compression you're actually getting. And then when you're happy with that setting of your gain reduction, is it three to five dB? Is it just a light little touch? Or do you wanna crush this and see this meter really grabbing the audio signal coming through? And then when you wanna set your master output, unclick that. Now you can set your master output and follow your meter and really dial on the settings on in your doll with what you're looking for. So that's the that's the rundown from left to right with this uh, with this solo VLA multi voice tube and opto compressor. A lot of options, endless options, and uh, with both settings opto and FET. This unit sounds fantastic. So what I'm gonna do now to really make this fun is daisy chain the preamplifier into the compressor, then from the compressor into the interface. And what's really great about this is, and this is where this is why I like outboard gear. This is why I really, really like outboard gear. It's a different kind of recording. Now look, if you're used to using plugins, you can, edit and post or after a take forever it, and, and it has its place 
But what I like about outboard gear, and especially a preamplifier into a compressor setting, is you're committing on the front end to the sound and the tone in the moment. And that's the take. And what I love about that, it, it, look, think about all the old bands that made a complete living doing this. All the way from the Beatles to before that. Look, you can fix, try to fix stuff with plugins and it has its place, but when you trust your ears on the front end and you dial in a microphone into a tube preamp, it, it matches the character that you're going for and you commit to that. Then you daisy chain this into the compressor. You set that compressor so it's so it's like a, it's like a blanket. It's like a it's like a net. It's a, it butters the edges. And you this combo is right on the front end. Then you send this into your doll. You're committing to that sound. It's a t it's a kind of recording. It's an analog mentality that I think in all fairness, we've just kind of gotten away from. People with a, with a laptop, they can you know, record a decent take on the front end and they're like, oh, we can fix that in post. Or we can get the sound we're looking for later. I like this mentality. It's, it, it's quicker, you're committing to it, and so much of recording is committing and trusting your ears and trusting your instinct to get what you want. You're making the decisions on the front end. And these two units, really let you do that. So if this is your introduction to outboard gear, this is a great pairing where you can try on this mentality, this type of recording, where you set your levels, you set your tones, you trust your ears, you hit record, and now the focus is on the take. You've already made your choices here. That doesn't mean you can't you know, add more compression or more EQ later, but you're trusting your ears and you're getting what you want on the front end. And that's why I love analog gear and I love outboard gear. And, um, but look, it's a leap of faith. It's going back to old school. This, it, it, it's, like I said, it's a mindset and uh, these units do it very well. So let me show you how to daisy chain this preamplifier and the compressor, compressor into uh, the interface below. And then let's do a little recording in the last part of the series here. And uh, so hang tight. All right, now here we are on the back side of the units now. On the last video, I showed you how to hook up the preamplifier and just the preamplifier in your interface. Now we're gonna just do one, one easy step. We're gonna unplug the output that was in, that was going to the interface from the microphone preamplifier. Now we're gonna daisy chain these two together. So now we're gonna come out of the output of the preamp and we're gonna go into the input of the compressor and then take that already existing output that you had from the amplifier and go into the output of the compressor. And then be sure this is pushed in because these are balance connections to plus four dBU. So that's your balance connection and that's, well, that's the preferred way to do this. So quick recap, microphone, comes in to the input of the preamp, comes out of the preamp into the input of the compressor, and then it comes quarter inch out of the output into the back of the interface. And currently I'm going into the UAD interface to channel eight. Now let's have some fun. As you can see, we got the needles jumping around. So I've got the SM57 plugged in the two preamplifier, daisy chained into the compressor below, compressor going into the UAD interface to channel eight. So you guys tune into the next video where I'm actually gonna do some recording, show a real world practical use for this solo MPA and solo VLA compressor in your home recording studio rig. And if you're looking for your first piece of outboard gear, or you got a ton of outboard gear and you're just looking for another signal chain, this is this has a lot of flexibility. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where we can uh, bring it to life.